to Saka to get us underway. I think you did that match, Jill. How was, I did. Uh, how was Osaka looking in that one? Very good. I thought that was one of her strongest matches so far at this tournament. And Rogers, Rogers played well. I think Osaka against Rogers only had eight unforced errors the whole match. And to hit with the pace and the power that she brings about yeah. the baseline, just to only have eight unforced errors is really impressive. Yeah, I was impressed with Brady's quarterfinal victory as well. That was over a tricky opponent, Yulia. Putin Saver, you know, three and two, but Putin Saver, as ever, was trying to mix things up, different paces, different heights. Such a good competitor, but uh, didn't face her. It's going to be a much different match for, for Brady today. Saka not bringing as much variety as Putin Saver brings. There's a look at Azarenka. Gripping her racket, getting ready for her match after this one. Game of second. Quick fire hold serve to get things underway to love. Said she was very nervous in that quarterfinal, didn't she, uh, Jen Brady? I won't repeat the phrase that she, that she used <laughs> in the press conference, but uh, it was, I was funny. Yeah, I was interested to to hear her admit to that. I think it's great when players can admit to that. I just I just remember being so nervous sometimes and trying to deny the fact that those nerves were there and it never worked to my advantage. But I think if you can admit to that and let it go and just sort Jenny of accept Brady. that those nerves are always going to be there, I think you they start to settle a little bit. You start to play better and ease into the match more quickly. Let's tell you a little bit about the, the Jennifer Brady story, 25 years of age. And it's a player who's come through the, the college system initially. Over in uh, California, UCLA. College tennis for a couple of years, that was 2013 to 2015. Soaking up the pace. The college system isn't isn't everyone's preferred route, is it? But it's interesting listening to, to Jen Brady talk about it. She felt it was the ideal option for her. She said she you know, she's almost saying, I didn't really feel good enough to, to turn pro at that stage. talked about how 13, 15. she's matured quite a bit in the last couple of years but that's a pretty mature statement at the time to recognize that she didn't feel like she was ready to go to the pros yet wanted to go to college for a little bit just to experience that I, th I think it's a great option I think also if you just Hotel. Go for a year or two or however long you feel. I feel like it, it does help you become a little bit more independent, learn to live on your own, learn to be able to play on a team. I think that's a, a lot of these college players really love that experience of being on that tennis team for college. Big hitting that's been on show. Roots to the last four here in New York. 
No, this is what she wants. She wants. She's going to be looking for these forehands all the time. That's where she can get the most power. That's her stronger side. Yeah. Her game plan definitely be to hit big serves and look for that forehand when possible. 40 oh, is broke. Yeah, it looks like it, isn't it? It's quite unusual. Sometimes you see it when players drag their shoes on these North American hard courts can uh, just tear through the lace. So running repairs, that's not easy, is it? When it's all frayed <laughs> and you're trying to stick it through the hole and it's your it's your first Grand Slam semi-final. Goodness me. Yeah. You see your hand shaking a little yeah. bit. Just a little bit showing a little sign of nerves. Did a good job. Got it done. Yeah. Would have been there for a good 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Fumbling away. But no, it's an incredible yeah, story, isn't it? And you know, made a, a good breakthrough. 2017. A couple of decent runs at the majors. It's been there really this season, 2020, started in style. And it announced herself very quickly as one of the players to watch on tour. Game. Nice composure as well, just to get back up and one game one game. finish off that game. Forty-one in the world, Brady, but uh, that will rise. Geysera, a German, and that's an interesting tale as well, isn't it? Just making a slightly different decision at the start uh, of the tail end of last year. Decided to head to Germany, European winter, as opposed to, well, ideal conditions in Florida. Just changed things up, did the training block back in Europe. I think they started working together last fall. Um, and then, yeah, I thought that was an interesting choice to be able to go to Germany. Brady just wanting to do something a little bit different. And a lot of her friends, she was saying, felt like it was very uncharacteristic for her to sort of get out of that comfort zone of training back in the States. I described it as the best decision of her life. That's uh, how significant those few weeks were. Got a German fitness trainer as well, Danny Paul. Julia Gerges, coach. And I was reading back uh, a long time ago. I used to work with Philip Kohlschreiber on the men's side when Kohlschreiber was a teenager. Germany. Game. Three fairly like routine Two holes to give yourself then. Eight minutes on the board. Two one. No breaks during the opening ten minutes. Really training one two. side and watch a bit of Jennifer Brady and a lot of analysts and experts are getting very excited about this player aren't they and, and, and where the the best ranking might eventually be it's the forehand that jumps out at you definitely and I think just it has so much spin on it and it's so heavy she gets a lot of pace and power but it really jumps off the court off the bounce it's much different from say Osaka's forehand who also hits with a lot of power but hers is a lot flatter but that heavier spin can create a lot of opportunities. Love that. 
first double. Messi starts the game, missed forehand, double fault. It's the German behind. The improvements in the game. He's had a lot of impact, especially on her mindset. Just helping her feel a little bit more positive out there, creating a little bit more belief. is to make her feel positive not only on the court but off the court as well to make sure she gets a break from tennis sometimes and it enjoys her experience off court and that can carry over into your matches it's so important to have that balance it's the combination she'll be looking to 40, bring into play this evening How's the backhand hold up? Brady's backhand. Yeah. Yeah, I think that side has improved quite a bit. I mean, that used to be a side that you could attack and get a few short balls out of that side, but I think her movement has improved so tremendously. Great serve out wide there. Jane. Brady. Um, I think her movement has improved so much that she actually handles that percent. backhand side a lot better. She gets in better position. Two apiece then inside Ash. Opening. Women's semi final of the evening here in New York. A reminder to uh, download the official app, US Open app. Check on your favorite players, latest scores, stats, highlights, and schedules. That's available in the App Store, Google Play Store. Tennis as well. Love it. Made the final at the Cincinnati event, which uh, as most tennis fans will know was played here on site at Flushing Meadows, relocated from Ohio. To create the uh, controlled environment of three weeks of tournament tennis. Without the final of the leg injury, that's why the strapping is on that left hamstring. There you go. So thankfully that doesn't seem to have caused her too many problems en route to the semis. Just due to play Victoria Azarenka in the Cincy final. Oh, what a great return from Brady. Saka thought she was going to catch her off guard with that out wide on the second serve, but... Brady quick to redirect herself off that split step. Great return right down the line. Sorry. Thirty. For set is court side four. Naomi, another fairly new player coach relationship. Working together two 40, years. Coach with such an incredible experience on the WTA tour. You look at his CV, very impressive. Halep, Conta, Kerber, Azarenka, Kleisters. Osaka. Five holds of Osaka serve then three games to, to open up this semi final. Osaka in front, 3 2. Especially from the center of the court to get that ball inside out and create that angle. Got a 
if you can say that they think Brady will be top 10 in the not too distant future. Are you in agreement? Yeah, I can see that, definitely. The, the strong forehand, but Third's how 15. much her uh, movement has improved and also a great all-around game. I mean, when she gets the opportunity, she's not afraid to come forward. Very solid on the volley. Yeah, she's had a bit of uh, double success, hasn't she, at Grand Slam level. Semis Australian Open 2019. Not afraid to get on the doubles court, help develop Four to 15. different areas of the game. And that helps your singles game so much too, not only on the serve and on the returns, but to be able to see the court a little bit differently. You see the angles a little bit differently. Just good court awareness. Three games in right the first set. Game six represents a start. She'll be very, very pleased with in this kind of environment, this kind of stage, a different kind of challenge, a different reward on offer this evening to live with the likes of Osaka in these opening six games. And there is a, a US Open champion. Yes. Bruno Suarez, Suarez. Yeah. yeah. Got it done in the doubles today against my, alongside, should I say, Marte Pavic. Partner. 15 love. Dinner will taste pretty good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Good reaction here from Third Brady, time. really quick to get up to that ball. Just couldn't do enough with it. A lot of time for Osaka to set up for that pass. Four to Lost a point behind the first serve yet, Osaka. 12 out of 12. Off the back of that time. Just a good ball striking from both players. A ton of pace off the ground from both Brady and Osaka. Brady on the run with that forehand. Hit a great shot down the line. just changing her return position just slightly on that first serve, just snuck in a little bit further inside the baseline to try and take it early. Rushed Osaka on that shot. Use. The stickier service game all of a sudden.
helps when you have that much pace off the ground. When you get those let courts, ten, can tend to work in your favor. Both of these women just hitting with such power. First chance then for the American. First break point of this opening set. Of misses. It's been doing too well behind the second so far, just three of nine points one. And the second serve. Sorry. Yes. Serve back. Actually, Osaka just kept that serve away from the Brady forehand. Back to Juice. Advantage, Osaka. To wrap up the second game, dodges the break point. Osaka leads four games to three. Four three. New look, a Grand Slam semi final inside an empty stadium. It's not easy. But both players seem to have uh, dealt with it fairly successfully so far. Both have settled down quickly, especially impressive in the case of Jennifer Brady, inexperienced at this level. On serve, three four. Osaka did a great job 15. just keeping Brady on the run there, just continuously going to the open court. Great angle at the end. As you mentioned, you know, the fans not being able to come this year, and a lot of players have expressed how they miss them tremendously, miss that energy, that fire. But in, in a match like this, I feel like that could favor Brady just a little bit, not to get huge distraction in a big moment like this. Oh, that's great forehand. Really good acceleration so through the ball. Because I, I, I think with a lot of fans too, it can feel a bit overwhelming at times when you have all that energy. same time I feel a little bit sorry for her that she's denied right. 24,000 almost <laughs> inside the stadium denied their support not that many of them wouldn't be would be behind Naomi Osaka but you know it's been such an incredible story I think you know right. you're part of American tennis to, to see Jan Brady come through the draw the, imagine the the hype surrounding this match yes. with this place full with an American player. And she mentioned she would love that, of course, any player would love to experience that. But I think she's accepted the way the way that things are this year as as, as you have to, as all players have. under examination on that occasion. Just trying to put her under pressure on the backhand side.
Juice. Great return there from Osaka. This match feels so even right now. I do feel like it's going to come down to just a, a couple points where either one of these players have that opportunity on a second serve to, to get aggressive and to take control. That was a great angle on the return from Osaka. Great was the first serve. It's been good when she's been hitting the spot. 11 of 13 won. Just 52 percent have found the mark so far this evening for Brady. First box to tick, isn't it, against one of the very best in the world when you're in unfamiliar surroundings, just come through those early stages, settle down. Yes, I mean, definitely makes you feel better. And she's holding pretty comfortably, Brady, and mixing up the serve well. I liked that choice on that second serve. Decided to go for that kick high to Naomi's forehand. That was a good mix up. Five titles for Osaka, the two majors, of course, that we've mentioned here in New York over in Australia as well. That was 2019, so one now. Uh, two Grand Slams in a row. Back end of 2018 and to kick off the new season, 2019, also one Indian Wells event. That was 2018 in the spring over in California. <laughs> Game. Osaka. Nice quick hold. Osaka just minutes. the right time. So a big service game coming up for Jennifer Brady. Going to pressure now, 4-5. Azarenka continues to look like one of the most relaxed <laughs> players on site. She's just having fun. And she's mentioned that. She said she's just having a blast this year. The time is not easy. Yeah, that might look very relaxed from Brady. Yeah. Didn't hit with as much pace on that, but still such controlled on both wings, and then good move to take that last one out of the air. swing there from Osaka. That's one she does need to be aggressive on when she gets that second serve opportunity. Just to try and gain a little bit of, of ground in some of Brady's service games.
some incredible time there from 15. Osaka. Almost looked like for a moment she was a little bit close to that ball, but look at how well she moves away from that shot just to create a little bit more space. 85 miles an hour, previous forehand. Fighting fire with fire. Jamie Brady. Five years old, first set. Something that Fisset has spoken about since he teamed up with Naomi Osaka. Her physical strength, explosive strength, he says, is right up there in terms of the women's game. Something that sets her apart from most of her rivals. Athletic ability. Such a big part of the game these days. Something interesting when you listen to Katarina Zarenka talk about sort of when she was dominating the game back 2012, 2013, and then trying to live with almost a, a, a different breed of young player on the WTA tour, the, the way they strike the ball. Sorry. I guess Brady is a good example of that. I, ju I just think it's gotten so much harder and faster. I mean, the, the pace that these women hit with you know, is just absolutely incredible. Out. And also, in, in particular, in this match, I mean, both of them 15 hitting with all that power, and neither one really have that many unforced errors. I mean, the consistency with that much pace has been really impressive. Yeah, just the three from the number four seed so far. There is it. Missed ground strokes. Four aces apiece. Strife from Brady. Trying to take that second serve so early. Jamie Osaka. Too big from Osaka. Osaka leads. Powers away to through another service game. And once more, Brady will serve to stay in this first set. To take us into a, a first set tie break. 5 6. Fifteen left. Well, she's just been serving so well this first set that, I mean, for, for a player with a big serve like that, when, when you feel confident on your serve, that confidence just exudes to the rest of your game. There will be a challenge. Oh, Just looking towards the chair umpire. Confirmation that this was good. Just an incredible injection of pace. Bang on the line. 50. Brady has two challenges remaining. 13, 15. A good kick serve there from Brady. You can see how sometimes when you have that heavy spin, it can be tough to control that return, especially if you don't take it early enough. That one getting above Osaka's shoulders. Serve landing a little bit shorter, so more in Osaka's strike zone. 
nice clean return there from Osaka. Point that was well handled by Brady. So game point. Try and take this to a tie break. Six games old, first set tie break. It's been Each player receives one additional challenge. By the effectiveness, effectiveness of the first serve for both players. Maybe just losing three points behind her first deal. Osaka, 19 of 20 behind the first serve. And a slightly better first serve percentage as well, just below the 60s. Compared to Brady's 51%. gift there for Osaka. Brady had a good look at that return. Didn't miss it by much, but could have had an opportunity there to get that mini break. Attention to go behind Osaka. Brady and ended up hitting it right to her. And I think Brady was just a little bit surprised that the ball came right back at her. Three one to the body. Margins that make a difference in these kind of sets, just that uh, slightly faster start to the shootout could make the difference for Osaka. Three one now. Returns. Um, Brady in this tiebreak so far. These, these types of sets, just like you said, Lee, just those the small margins make the biggest difference. Can respond here, training four one. <laughs> Has missed another 
game Five has one. just Lost dipped the wrong time in this tie break. The language all of a sudden just a little bit on the negative side of you. Well, that's where you start to feel like the situation has maybe come into play in, in her mind a little bit. Semi-final and six all, just those loose errors that she wasn't making throughout that, throughout the first set until this tie break. Osaka will probably feel like she's got this one done now. Just a couple of points away, 5-1. Nice. For service. intelligent stuff going back behind. Six one. I think just great court position Osaka. too from Osaka. I mean, once she got the edge, she never moved off that baseline. Just makes the court appear so much smaller for your opponent. Commanding lead then for the number four seed. Five set points. Needs just the one. Seven games it's an impressive tie break. Brady's game just tailing off a touch towards the end of that opener. Osaka in front. Full of big hitting. Let's see whether Jennifer Brady can respond early in this second. semis first semi-final at a major the score lines she's produced en route through that set, she had the backhand return that she missed. It's a bit frustrated that... 13, 15. Game just, just really there in the breaker. Just allowed Osaka to quickly take control, chasing the scoreline. Yeah, it's one of those situations that you just have to let go of I mean she had she had quite a few of those balls on her racket and just lost focus just a little bit during the tie break just for get that racket head through just a little bit faster didn't quite get up to that ball with her feet She will have been hoping to make Only in the second second off on the, the right foot. And again, Jill, she's she's proved, hasn't she? And this is 
the message that's been coming from her the last uh, few days when she's been asked about how she feels mixing it with the very best, the top ten players, that she feels she has the game to live with these players. It's only a couple of points here and there, isn't it? And again, she's proved that this evening. Well, I think that's the maturity that, that's happened in the last few years. I think because she had some good wins in the past, like two or three years ago, when she got to the round of 16 at the couple slams, had some good wins, but she didn't quite feel like she was ready to deal with that. She didn't quite feel like mentally she was at the place where she felt like she belonged. And she's worked so much on her mentality, her positive attitude. She now feels like she can sustain that and consistently beat these top players. Interesting what she said about her stay in Australia as well at the start of the year. She'd done the, the training block with the new coach over in Germany and then arrived in Brisbane. How much she how much confidence she took from hitting with the top players as well. So not yes. necessarily playing matches, but it I guess that's the first step, isn't it? You may be hitting with players with rankings that are a lot better than yours that maybe you haven't been on, on court before. Play a few practice sets and open your eyes, maybe. I, I also think a lot of players realize there's a, a big difference when they go, if they haven't been at the top and they go practice with a lot of these top players, the intensity that's there from these top players when they're practicing. There's so much, so there's so many times that as, as players you feel like you need to be on the court four or five hours, but I mean, so a lot of these top players sometimes we'll have an hour and a half practice but it, it's so intense that that's that's all they need it's about the quality no. I remember Azarenka one in four watching some of her practices and well it was impressive the how intense her footwork is her mentality every moment Osaka. The intensity from Osaka in this Second match without the, the crowd, of course, a different kind of challenge for the players out there on competing in these big matches. Try and decide exactly when just to raise the intensity and a bit of volume. I suppose not overdo it. You don't want to be going crazy for <laughs> two hours, true. do you? <laughs> no, that's true. Fifteen minutes. You know, I like that particular for him from Brady. She was falling backward just a little bit, and because of that position, just got some extra spin, more height and depth on that forehand, pushing Osaka back. job on that occasion he was under a bit of pressure when Osaka went back behind Brady but stayed in the points. 40 love. Right. Brady anticipating really well in that point. Osaka had that short ball that backhand down the line. Brady cheated over that way and got herself back into the point. Another ace. New balls, please. 
Takes over to six. A good Great start to the second set. One second set. Saka with the new balls. One, two. That was one that she missed in the tie break on the end on that one break point that she had in that first set that backhand return but like that she didn't back down she's still trying to be aggressive when she gets that second serve Slice on occasion, Brady as well, just to change things up, different kind of pace. Good start to this fourth game. Yeah, Osaka's energy right now too. I mean, down love 15. 30. At love 15, she she missed that backhand, but still, it was, almost looked like she won the point. She was fist pumping, trying to get herself back up. Good response to see after a mistake. Thirty. Oh. That was a chance. Any time you're in the point. 15.30. Got to try and make the most of it. Afraid to go to the forehand. It's again just those, those mistakes on those returns from Brady. Coming at some big moments. It's a good chance to try and apply that extra pressure. A deep return there. Almost like prefers the Use. faster serve there from Osaka when she can get her racket on it. past you well, I think also that that middle ball I mean Brady did a good job of being getting some aggression on that return but if you go down the middle and just don't get quite enough depth Osaka can really redirect that pace well Slow to get across to the the wide Two forehand. Second set. So it comes through a more complicated service game. 
So still no breaks of serve in this one. It's just so tough against Osaka because she has that power and depth that when she does throw in that short angle cross court, kind of catches you by surprise because you sort of feel like that pace is coming at you, puts you more, a little bit more on your back foot. Brady just not quick enough to move up to that ball into the court. <laughs> there to head to the official website usopen.org follow all the action during the conclusion <laughs> to this grand slam event and of scoring 15 love. the draws on there as well interviews and the news women's singles semi-finals this evening played the men's doubles final this afternoon Doubles final tomorrow. Men's semis, wheelchair events from today as well. today those let courts all of them going in her favor <laughs> yeah, it struck with a lot of confidence so that was great movement from Brady to get in great position for that backhand she reacts so quickly up to this ball forward. 20th winner, the American. And scoring Osaka in that department, just the 14. Oh. 40 15. Difference 14 and four stars, just the seven from Osaka. It's been a tidy match, isn't it? 14 winners, seven and four stars. Good ratio. on the return. Four to I oh, handled that kick serve much better. Osaka did a good job of loading on that back leg to create that pace off that return. Good body language, isn't it? When you're down 40-30 in the game. Brady. He stays focused though. Another Brady. Impressive hold of serve. Three games to two, second set. Still no First breaks. 3 2. Second. Chances have been few and far between, to say the least, in this contest. And 14 on the clock, just the one which Brady had midway through the opening set. Serve in second, 2 3. 15 left. The ace department, six apiece. Brady in that point just lost that ball a little bit, came off of it just slightly. Oh. 
She's been so full effective time. on that wide serve. You can see off the bounce how much it curves away from Brady. She's got great slice on that side. for Brady. Osaka's got that first serve in just the four. Just dropped this evening. 27 of 31. Come on. Game or something. Three games all just three games. It was a great game from Osaka. Well you talked about good positive energy and that's something that Osaka has said continuously that she's been working on is just having a better attitude. The first couple rounds here at the U.S. Open, she got a little bit flustered, and right away the next day, she said she had to improve on that, and that's something that consistently we've seen now in these last couple matches, that good positive demeanor out there. Just hitting a little bit too short on that last backhand. Brady so stable, so balanced on that last one. Third time. Impressed with the way she's stayed with Osaka in the second set. Definitely, yeah. I mean, I think she knew, knew how close she was in that first set. It just came down to a couple mistakes that she made. So, but to be able to let that go and start fresh sometimes can be tough to do. But she's doing a great job, Brady. consistently to the Brady backhand side. Just trying to attack that side, put pressure on the backhand. Second serve to Osaka's forehand. Been very effective for Brady as well. Good depth on that one right in the corner. Game. Taking a bit of a dive in the second Brady serve for Brady, but it's not making seconds. too much difference First so far. Serve. Just starting to get into that kind of territory now. For Naomi Osaka, where she gets her the slightest wobble on serve. Costa in this second set. Brady's done a really good job of continuing to believe that she can turn this match around. Beat the very best. 3 4. Oh! I don't think it has this match yet. <laughs> Brady's had quite a few let courts. What a start to the game, though. You never know when these kind of moments are just going to 
turn sets in your favour. She used this as a platform. 15. Oh. Saka's pretty much go to serve on that ad side when she's down in the game, that flat out wide. Actually, snap through the wrist to create that extra pace on that particular serve. The one out wide again. 13. Not picking that one at the moment, is she? I think Bray's protecting the backhand a little bit. I mean, she feels more confident moving to the forehand side, so she just leans slightly to the backhand just to protect that. It's opening up that wide serve for Osaka on the deuce. Ready. Moving around the baseline. It's the second half of the second set. Fist pump. A big moment this if she can just find a way. Converting here, these have been so rare. These breakpoint chances. Of the match. Great elites, five games in three seconds left. Gosh, she did well to stay in the point there, didn't she? That was an incredible point. Well done. I mean, she played so well defensively there. I, I, there were a couple of shots there I didn't even think she was going to get to, but especially the one on the stretch and the forehand, she had to go for that slice, but got great depth. Forced the error from Osaka. It was good fighting from Brady. So, a different challenge now. Deep breath, and she finished the job. 5 3. 15 number. so far. Frustrated that she's missed that backhand return. Wow. Really good game so far. Okay. And, and the way she's walking around the court too, I mean, definitely with a little bit more confidence walking a little bit straighter up and with fist pumps too. I mean, I, you could see it already in the previous game before she even got the break. about this kind of quality. Set point number two.
for three. Yeah, seven, seven, three. Six, seven, six, three. Six, seven, three. Towards this one to the latter stages of that second set. She is back in business. Got a one set shootout for a place in the final. All to play for in this semi final in the top half of the draw. Deciding set. Let's Let for service. Yeah. Better job getting the wide serve back into play, but still a, a very effective combination. The wide serve and just stepping into the court. Relies well, on Osaka now, I guess, Chelsea, whether there's any so kind of know. negative reaction. Yeah, how she responds. I mean, I haven't seen one yet. I think she's starting this game really well. I mean, even after she lost that second set, didn't look like she was getting down on herself at all. She's still trying to pump herself up. Great service game so far here. I like it. After she hits that wide serve, how she stays inside that baseline a little bit, looking for a little bit of a shorter reply from Brady. Straight back game to business. Time. First game final. That's a quick hold of serve. Not the first time she's been taking the distance in this event. Back in the first round when there were a few question marks over the, the hamstring injury that forced her out of the final in Cincinnati. A, a tricky match against Masaki Doi, the Japanese player, so it's very easy coming through those contests against players in the same country. Get that done. 6 2 in the third, and then she needed three sets to get uh, past Marta Kostyuk from Ukraine. Very talented teenager. Played a really good uh, second half of the second set. Came through that one 6 2 in the third as well. Kostyuk had a five break point to start to that third set before disappearing pretty quickly. into her body and she was still moving forward as she Crazy went enough. to hit it but nice control there from Brady she, she had to move in the opposite direction get out of the way a little bit but great hands at the net Sneak in and take that one early, and good recognition there from Brady. Saw her and put a little bit extra pace on that second serve.
Lewis. Oh, getting him on the move. Chance here for the fourth seed back to Juice. There, Osaka did a good job of covering that out wide serve, hit a pretty good return, but just rushed that last backhand. but just jumped slightly backward after hitting that serve, expecting a big return from Osaka. Two big serves. Got out of trouble. Still yet to face a break point this evening, Brady. It's going to please the coach the way she's dealt with the pressure. First Grand Slam semi final. as well to start a coaching relationship. A lot of players talk about trust, don't they? And it, it works both ways with players and coaches to get off to the kind of start they did down in Australia, beat Sharapova and Barty in the first tournament of the year, having, <laughs> especially having invested in a slightly different off-season right. as well. I think sometimes having that new perspective and that new voice in your ear is so important. It just kind of can open your eyes to what's available. The trust in particular is really important because it's not only really about trusting the team around you, but the coach in particular helping the player to be able to trust themselves when they're when they're out there. And that's so important, especially in those big moments, to, to kind of remind yourself to you know that you can hit those shots but you're dealing with that pressure in those big moments. Midway through the rally. 13, 15. I think it was just getting in this right position. It almost looked like she had mishit it. it. Looked like it was almost going to go long, but landing right on the line. She times that one well, that backhand inside out. So much time to think about that. What kind of shot she wanted to hit on that ball?
position again. You can see Osaka knew how important that point was. 30 all came up with a big serve. Such a good combination for her, especially when you get that ball in the center of the court. She can take that middle ball at an angle so consistently and so well. Fighting hard to take the upper hand. Osaka needs two games to one final set. This one, tough to call right now. One serve, one two. Will experience play a part, do you think, Joe? Looking into the crystal ball in the next 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see my crystal ball. <laughs> yes, definitely. I mean, I think. You mentioned at the beginning of this match having that experience that Osaka has. She's just been on the bigger stage a little bit more often. And I think that can always play a factor, but I'm just taking a second look at that. But that one just clip the line. Serving first to be a player who likes to serve first in the third, because some players say it doesn't make any difference to them. I always chose to return first. Okay. <laughs> my serve wasn't my strength. <laughs> <laughs> but for these two players in particular, I mean, their serves are one of their strongest in their game, so they definitely would would prefer to have that opportunity to serve first when they can. You do sense that it just gives the player who's ahead a little bit more freedom right. on return. Off chance here, 15.30. Oh, well, perhaps they are starting to 15, even themselves 14. out. And that's come along at the perfect time. Heartbreaker. And Jennifer Brady, when she sees this, just hopping over the net. And there is the break of serve. And that seemed to happen in a flash, didn't it? It happened so quickly. Osaka leads three games to one, final set. I just I felt like this sense that she was playing a little bit faster in that game. Osaka likes to, likes to not waste too much time in between points, but unfortunately for Brady, had a couple last unforced error. Just a reminder to follow us on uh, social channels as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. You can follow all the action. It's happening on site here at Flushing Meadows during the conversation with hashtag US Open. So I'm going to a break through that. I think that's one of the features of, of not having a crowd, isn't it? it 15 love. The tempo of these matches feels fast. And maybe when you get a service game like that, they can get away from you very quickly. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that that's a huge factor. I think a lot of times you're waiting for the fans to settle down after a great point after the clapping it just takes a little bit more time and I agree with you I, th I think it does up the tempo pretty quickly so great at that shot beautiful what an angle it's just, it's just such good movement here from Osaka after she hits that Sorry, ball, just anticipating the short volley but she, she flicks that wrist on that forehand so well. She loves going cross court on that shot. Wonderful balance. There's the reaction. Third time 15.
Brady signed to the call on the left far sideline. The ball was called in. Enough pause while we look towards the big screens inside the stadium. Seem seem to like it, that's why. Just caught a fraction of that. 40-15 sideline. Brady has two challenges remaining. So two points for four one. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Okay, going after that one a bit more. Covered that out wide serve. Did a good return to stay in control of that point. Number four seed. She's just starting Osaka to four games stretch one her lead one. now. Not too far away. Four-one. Flushing Meadows. Time perhaps starting to run out for Jennifer Brady. Down four-one in this final set. Oh. Just getting oh. back right here. It's a nice shot, isn't it? You get the, the sense of how the forehand is a, a little bit different. Just the height over the net and then it popping off the court the other end. Yeah, I like seeing that angle a lot just to, to see exactly what you're saying, but also see the footwork and how quickly these players are moving around the court as well. Players they hit so aggressively, but sometimes it's quite a bit of net clearance, and you don't necessarily get that sense from the traditional camera position. Let's look at some of the USTA staff. Captain Rinaldi in the front row, USA Fed Cup captain. Let's for service. To the future, that'd be a, a strong team for years to come, you would imagine. Wouldn't it? Fifteen, fifteen. Fifteen, fifteen. Fifteen fourteen last couple games. Looked a little bit quicker on the defense, in my opinion, getting behind the ball a little bit better. Yeah, it's been sensational. Last couple of games in the fourth seed. Surely she converts here. If we all over. Oh, that's a strong start from Brady to say those two break points.
still fighting. Advantage. Still just a single break of serve. She can get the hold here. particular rally just a little bit behind and felt like she had to do something felt like she could have stayed cross on that backhand with Osaka just misfired a little bit too quickly Osaka's boyfriend courts side today musician <laughs> on that, that kick serve, catching it much earlier, making sure it didn't quite get too high, good new direction on that inside out. It's starting to come along a little more frequently now. Left for service. Challenge. Yes. From the chair. Okay, it was good, so uh, good intervention. Does it feel good if she can just get this scoreboard back to 2 4? Sometimes these kind of holds. a shot of self belief. Four games to two, final set. Well, it was a good fight back from Brady down two break points. I think it shows your opponent also that you're not going to let it go too easily, that you're willing to stay out there and fight for every point. So comfortable, isn't she hitting that backhand cross as well? Forehand this time was the damage. Thirty love. Very good job. I like how she cut into that court there just to 
cut off that backhand cross court of Osaka. Osaka throwing in a little bit more off pace second serve there. That one only 67 miles an hour, but got that nice angle. It just threw Brady off with a little slower pace serve. A couple game points here for Osaka. Watching one another now in the winner's count, 33 apiece. So third hour. and hold of serve. Osaka. Just a game away Osaka from another Grand Slam final. Single break of serve still uh, separating these two in the decider. And he's serving to stay in the match. 2-5. 15 level. Good job of taking care of business in these first few points. Ten miles an hour. This forehand. Raising the stakes. Treated to some uh, impressive shot making this evening. Finish the job, even when you're facing a, a two-time major winner. If I was, if I was Brady, to try and break back, especially on this deuce side in the first point, just cheat over just a little bit, move over to her right, take away that wide serve from Osaka that she's been playing so well today. Oh. 
great start. Great start to the game. Love the turn, it? Just went big up the middle. It was great. I mean, got good depth on that return too, and just kept control of the point. For service. Doesn't seem to be an issue so far. Is it the uh, the ball toss, the service motion? No, just in the last, just in this game, really. of matches and the biggest courts, the biggest events. Two points required. Eight minutes on the clock. This point. Game set at match and Two sets to one. It's Seven six. Three six. Grand six three. Slam final for Naomi Osaka. The fairy tale run. And Jennifer Brady finally comes to an end. She's had a sensational defense. It's Osaka who moves into the final. Seven six. Three six. Six three. 